And you are doing nothing. No. You're offering us nothing. You said this was not predictable. This is totally predictable when you choose not to do anything. Sir, you are out of here. Sir, you are out of here. Please stop this from happening. Get out of here. Get out of here. I can't Sir, believe you a, a tragedy that happened here. Like you know, need to be like this is not the place to do that. Please please you have to stay this is on you until you choose to do something different. This will continue to happen. Somebody needs to stand up for the children of this state, or they will continue to be killed, just like they were killed in Uvalde yesterday. So that was uh, Texas gubernatorial candidate Beto O'Rourke uh, crashing a press conference held by Governor Greg Abbott over the Uvalde shooting. So now look, uh, that video was taken by the statesman reporter Luz uh, Moreno Lozano. So look, I wanted to give her uh, credit for that. Um, obviously, you could hear O'Rourke saying, this is on you. This is on you. This was totally predictable. Look, uh, he, ain't, he ain't wrong. And let me explain why. So look, we know that Abbott over the years has loosened gun laws in Texas. They have had eight mass shootings in the last 13 years. And their response was to loosen gun laws each time. Every, every, single, more, uh, every single time. Uh, look, the most recent was a permitless carry bill which allows most Texans to carry handguns openly in public without going through training or having to get a permit. So, oh, it, it, uh, you, you want a gun? You want a gun? No, you don't even have to know how to shoot it. Just, you know, here you go. Take all the guns that you want. Have them all. But, uh, you know, healthcare? No, no, you, you don't get any of that. That would be socialism. But here, here's your gun. So that's what they're doing. Uh, long guns like rifles and shotguns had already been allowed to be carried without a permit. Uh, they also previously lowered the age of being able to legally buy a gun to 18 down from 21. And in response to this, Texas Republicans are saying, oh, what we need now is to have more guns uh, and more cops in school. Well, again, they, there, was an already, there was already an armed school officer stationed there in the school. He exchanged fire with the gunman before the gunman went in, uh, in inside the building. What happened? I, I thought I thought you had to have a good guy with a gun. Well, there was a good guy with a gun, and apparently it didn't work. Didn't work at all. Uh, look in Buffalo, by the way, at the supermarket. There was also an armed security guard. What happened to him? That armed security guard was shot and killed by the gunman. Why his service weapon was ineffective against the shooter's body armor. Now, Ramos was wearing a vest, but didn't have the armor inside of it. But it looked like he did. So, look, none of the things that uh, Abbott had done or the Republican Party have made the state any safer. It's actually worse now. More children die from gun violence than on-duty police officers. It is actually literally safer to be a cop than a school-aged child. Let that sink in. How completely messed up is this? It, it, I mean, it's insane. And the United States is the only place that this actually happens on a regular basis. But when you point that out, well, you get Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, in this case, calling you a sick son of a bitch. Because that's who that was. How dare you make it a political issue? How dare you? you? You know why they're desperate to not politicize this? Because it would point out the fact that they can do something, but choose not to. That's what's important here. Look, they're desperate not to politicize it because they control gun policy and refuse to pass any meaningful restrictions because they're paid by the gun lobby not to. Now, during the conference, this is before uh, O'Rourke walked in, Abbott did tell the crowd this. And, and, and this is to show you, to kind of illustrate what the entire conversation really was about. The reality is, as horrible as it what happened, it could have been worse. 
Could have been worse. 19 children are dead. Two faculty members, dead. Hmm, interesting. Uh, hmm. I mean, sure, I guess it could have been worse. But this is, this is the type of thing you're talking about? Sending thoughts and prayers? That's the entire thing. <laughs> so, look. This is a result of policy. Political stuff. Policy that allowed somebody who had some serious issues to easily acquire deadly weapons and a large amount of ammunition. And then, of course, they used it to murder the kids. And that's it. They don't want it to be political because the politics are bad. The politics are bad for them. Real bad. Again, you have vast majority of support for doing the simplest of measures, things like background checks. And the Republican Party will not allow that to happen. And look, the fact is that in this country, it is easier to buy a gun than to purchase medication, like Sudafed, for example. It's easier in this country to get a gun than adopt a pet. Or you actually have to fill out paperwork, even have a vi uh, somebody come visit your home in some cases. Or to find a therapist. You could even buy lawn darts in this country because it killed children. But you can buy a gun that has killed way more children than lawn darts. Pretty soon, in Texas, you're not going to be able to get an abortion. But you could still buy a gun with no waiting period. You have a longer waiting period to get an abortion. This is our country right now. O'Rourke is absolutely right. And I honestly do believe that, look, as much as I crap on politicians, and trust me, I do. I've crapped on O'Rourke before. Not, not literally, but uh, I've criticized him before, uh, you know, uh, as not being progressive. But I think on this issue, he actually does mean it. I think this is an issue that O'Rourke has cared about, honestly. Um, and again, I, I actually regularly question if politicians believe the things that they're saying. But in the case, again, for him, I, I do believe that he is pretty genuine um, over his, uh, on his anger of this and his desire to pass gun control because he doesn't get paid off by the gun lobby. Yeah, as some people point out, he, yes, he, he is a, of course, he's a corporate Democrat. And I pointed that out. But at the same time, there, there are corporate Democrats who do have these issues, these pet issues. Um, and it sounds ridiculous to call this a pet issue because it is such an important issue. Um, but there are issues that they actually do care about. And if they got into power, what actually try to do something about? And I do believe that O'Rourke would try to do something about gun laws, about, about gun deaths, obviously. Uh, and so, and, and again, I, I regularly go against Democrats and, and Republicans too for, for doing theater, certainly. But again, you have to be fair that there are issues that some of these politicians do actually care about and, and want actually uh, to do something about. So I think it's good on him. I think this got a lot of attention. And that's a good thing uh, because attention, of course, to this outrage will create, I think, hopefully a, a pressure wave. Because, look, nothing is going to happen without massive amounts of pressure. 